All right. Well, we're here. That's good enough for me.com. We're doing our Who's Zooming Who series. I'm here with Squirt from Public Serpents, Choking Victim, and Tensity Records. I'm here with Greg Arman from Apathy Cycle and Jesse Sandez from Days and Days. How are you guys all doing? Good. How are you? I'm great. Good. Long day, but uh, I'm happy to be here. I guess I'll just get started here. Uh, what are your bands up to during all of this? Uh, Greg, in particular, your band released a kick-ass record and uh, had to cancel the tour that was following it. Yeah, we were going to go on tour till I think, um, two days ago. Hmm. So, yeah, that's kind of weird that we uh, haven't seen my bandmates in, like, probably three months, you know? Yeah. That was going to be my next question. Uh, you know, how, how connected are you guys with all of your projects, the members of those projects? And, uh, yeah, I call, I call them, you know, I talk on the phone. I haven't even done this kind of thing with anyone yet. Um, I'm sure at some point we're gonna have to try to do something because we just put a record out, you know, and you're supposed to be on tour right now. Um, yeah, and I, your view I gotta say your cool. record is great. But. <clears throat> we appreciate it. We're just, you know, just a fucking punk band, but your, your review actually helps out a lot. You got some people actually interested in it, which is really cool. Appreciate that. Cool. Oh, well, my pleasure. <clears throat> uh, Jesse, what about you? You're kind of in an, uh, a good opportunity situation where you can kind of play a style of music that is more accessible, I guess, with a webcam or. Yeah, I'm super lucky um, that we can that we can keep doing these like live streams. They've they've been holding us. We keep calling they're like the nicotine patches of live shows. Like it's like gets you through, but like it's not quite the same. But it's a nice tool to be able to embrace and uh, and uh. As far as talking with the rest of the band, we've been, we talk every day. I think we're going to start playing our Dungeons and Dragons game again on Wednesday as well <laughs> through yeah. this because like you can record it, right? And like, can you just upload the chat? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I did oh. some sort of weird, I, I, some sort of weird game with some nerds that I work with over Zoom and it kind of <laughs> felt like hanging out with people, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I never really used socially. Squirt, you said you were in the studio yesterday. What are you working on? Uh, we're just kind of polishing up the rest of this record. We've been kind of lazy about it. And then, uh, what you call it, the, the pandemic hit us. So that was a little bit of a pain in the ass. Um, but we just finally put the rest of the guitars. And uh, I just got to get off my lazy ass and put some vocals on it. And we did a live stream the other day from my backyard, which was kind of cool. So that's a little different. Talking, with the, uh, the folkers, um, yeah. we can do it on their own. Whereas we got to get like six dudes together. But I made them wear masks so I uh, could, you know, get down with the pandemic vibe. Yeah, understood. Uh, unfortunately, the two bands I play in are like seven pieces, so it's like even against city code for us to get together right now. <laughs> uh, six feet. As far, as far as where everybody's located, I'm in, I'm in Nebraska, so. Uh, the virus is hitting like right now this week, you know, we had our sixth death today and everybody is going to Applebee's and shopping at the mall and talking about how this is a big fucking hoax. And I'm really awesome. worried about that though. So. so I'm staying in and doing weird zoom projects, punk bands and stuff, which has been fun. Uh, the, the kind of theme of that's good enough for me.com uh, is the old, slapstick song, uh, Punk Enough, uh, basically embodying, you know, that we all like a lot of different kinds of music besides punk music. Some of them are interconnected in other ways. I'm, I'm asking everybody, while you're stuck at home, uh, what's the weirdest fucking music that you've found yourself listening to? Uh, I guess, go first, Jesse. That's a really good question. I've, I've uh, been getting really into, like, um, Hans Zimmer soundtracks, <laughs> like the two that did like the, all the music for like the Pirates of the Caribbean movies and stuff. I don't know why, but like I, it, it just like popped up on a, like a when I was going down the YouTube rabbit hole and just everything that that dude has ever done is fucking incredible. So I, that, that's I did kind something of weird, kind, of, yeah. kind of similar. I listened to John Carpenter soundtracks just all day one day. There you go. So yeah, I'm, soundtracks are great. They're under. I mean. Sometimes I don't need someone preaching lyrics at me. I just want to hear like some sick cello swells and stuff. How about you, Squirt? Ah, I'm enjoying the silence. I'm hearing little sounds in my head. 
<laughs> lots of um, lots of funny songs keep getting uh, brought through my ears. I hear a lot of birds too in my backyard. <laughs> working a lot, so yeah, those bird songs are pretty fucking cool. Yeah, but um, other than that, I don't even really watch TV anymore, man. I just kind of sit in my damn basement and stew and think about um, stuff. But but the cool thing is, I get to put a lot more attention to people sending me demos. Uh, you know what I mean? I get to be a little judgmental. I get to listen to my friends' music uh, when you know I really want to hear stuff. But I, 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 you know, I don't know. It's pretty much a lot of random, uh, you know, demo submissions. And like I said, you know, songs going through my head. Although I did get to hear my guitarist play some crazy leads yesterday, so that was great. And is this a public Serpents record? Yeah, yeah. Ferris is amazing. I love that. Guy. I, okay. I, uh, I slept on your band, dude, and I have to admit it. I, I listened to Public Serpents for the first time today after we talked. And, oh, uh, okay. I, I like it. I really like it. I, uh, that entire family over there on the coast. I, uh, I really liked choking victim and leftover crack for a long time but anytime a new project came up i was confused as to what exactly it was or who was a part of it because everybody's got a fucking nickname <laughs> yeah but so i saw a little interview about um somebody said something to the effect of um we just all start more bands for patch sales so we can sell more patches and it was like uh, probably not, but okay. Thank you. Appreciate That's it. hilarious. No, I, yeah. I enjoyed what I listened to. I look forward to uh, some new stuff. Greg, have you been listening to anything fucking weird? Not really weird. I mean, I've been listening to Fugazi lately just because I was curious about the In On The Kill Taker record and how they recorded Steve Albini. Because I got in this YouTube rabbit hole with uh, recording engineers. So I was just curious about that and I was like, oh shit. The, um, the demo is so different than the record is. You know what I mean? I guess you can call it weird. I haven't listened to anything really weird. I've been listening to a lot of podcasts and stuff like that, too. So yeah. get my mind off of music for a little bit every once in a while. For me, it's about, like, connecting and disconnecting being a parent full time. Yeah. Like, I, I listened to Despicable Me three, four times today. You know, oh, on my left song. Song. <laughs> And it's uh, like the soundtrack. I love yeah. that stuff. No, it is one of the more favorable ones that my daughter likes to watch. But Jesus Christ, when I finally have a minute alone, it's like, I, I don't even know what to do with myself. Like, listen to like Southern butt metal or. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, it, now we'll go on to uh, strange activities that you've never done before. Uh, Jesse, is there anything that you're doing while you're stuck that you're, you, can, you can't even picture yourself doing previously? I've never done before. Um, I've been painting a lot of. Uh, miniatures like D and D figurines, you know. Mm -hmm. That's that, I. That wasn't a hobby that I ever thought that maybe I. Would, I've always I've liked fantasy stuff and like video games and things forever, but mm -hmm. I, I don't even have like a board to play with the miniatures. With I just I'm just I just like painting them. It's peaceful. Passes the time. Oh, that, yeah, that makes sense. Squirt, how about you? Um. I'm a weirdo conspiracy theorist <clears throat> to some degree, and I've been getting my end of the world on by um, getting my garden, of course, but um, now I own chickens. So um, I built a whole crazy chicken coop. Um, I'm a chicken keeper. So yeah, who thought I was going to own chickens, but That's now crazy. I, uh, yeah, I got a chicken penthouse. The thing is crazy in there. I'm uh, <laughs> probably going to have a lot of eggs eventually. A lot of people getting down on me for um, you know, potentially slaughtering, well, not potentially, inevitably slaughtering some of these chickens. But um, I like meat. I'm sorry to anybody who's a vegan or a vegetarian. And I feel like, I don't know, my uh, my footprint's a little smaller now, you know, because I'm doing it myself. So that's something I never thought I was going to do. Do you uh, name, did you name the chickens? Did they have names? Nah, because it's like 18 chickens and four turkeys. Um, but I got to get these little bracelets. And once I get the bracelets, then I'm going to name them. Probably not going to uh, name the, the, the edible chickens, though, because we um, we got this one specific breed called Cornish Rock Cross. They're like, actually, I, I don't want to get them again, really, because they're sort of a weird hybrid meant for um, only for, uh, you know, eating. But um, they grow really fast. And I kind of don't want to name them because I'm about to eat them. You know what I mean? Like, 
I don't know, a little weird. Turkeys going to be around a little longer. I will eat them eventually, but yeah, I'm a vampire. Don't get mad at me, guys. I like food. Uh, you're cool. I, I live in Nebraska. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Pet Greg, cow. how about you? <laughs> how about me? I don't know. Um, I guess I never really cared about viruses before too much. I've been trying to learn about that for some reason. Um, yeah. <laughs> other than that, I spend more time on social media than I ever did because I don't really, really like it too much, but I know it's necessary for a band, right? And right now we're trying to promote our record. So it's like, I'm definitely learning how to get back into that and spending mm-hmm. a lot more time on Facebook and stuff like that than I ever did. Um, I think I wouldn't be doing that right now because I'd be on the road. So yeah, that's true. Yeah. Maybe spending a little more time going back to learning, you know, getting better at my instrument, trying to learn some covers and stuff like that. Well, our buddy Bob, uh, he told me uh, that he, he's learning a cover a day on guitar. Dude. And he, and he's going like completely all over the spectrum. So he just like grab a Led Zeppelin song or grab like the solo from a Mike Jackson song. And that's, yeah, I wish like, I was that productive. <laughs> Not that yeah, much. he's he's super productive. Whereas I don't know, me and my friends are like just we get sporadically creative, and it's like this big scream. And then as soon as it's done, it's like all right, let's go back to fucking watching YouTube. Yeah, and doing absolutely <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a wave. You get inspired, and then it's like, oh, what a bummer. Everything's, like, unsure. You don't know what's going to happen in the next uh, few weeks or whatever, or even the long term, you know? It's a weird time. Yeah, that's true. So well, we know Jesse, it's next the bars are opening up, though. We the bars know are, yeah, things are opening up. Oh, yeah. Right, Jesse? The bars are going to be 25% capacity over there in, like, a week. That's what in, I was watching. In Texas, probably. Yeah. Texas, Texas has been playing this whole thing pretty – you know, fast and loose. That's yeah. Pretty yeah. sketchy. Well, yeah. Same up here. <clears throat> I mean, I, I had, I've had to get groceries a few times because my daughter drinks milk and you know, that's like one of the only things she consumes. Then when we run out of milk, I got to go get more of it. And, and it, it's to the point now that like, I'm being like teased for wearing a mask into a grocery store or like, yeah, uh, that was, I had, I went to go get groceries for, I'm at, I'm at a, my folks place outside of Houston right now. So it's me and my wife, my little sister, um, their partner and my parents. And we have like, and we have three dogs. So we can, we consume pretty quickly. So I, I went out on the grocery run and uh, it was the first time that I like wore the mask. And I don't know if it was just cause I was wearing the mask or if people always look at me like I'm a fucking weirdo, but like they I was getting like mad, like cr- weird glares and shit. Like, that's like people aren't taking it seriously. My my wife's been hospitalized for pneumonia twice and almost died once. So like, I'm not trying to like fuck around with that shit, you know? Yeah, that's the situation that <clears throat> my family's in as well. And I don't know, man. It's it it doesn't look like it's gonna pan out very well in Lincoln, anyways. Mm-mm. But my wife keeps saying. That, you know, if the like 300 assholes that all want to go to church all get it and fucks up their lives, <laughs> you know, they're making that decision, not me. Maybe it, uh, it's just the, you know, the, um, uh, the uh, Darwin's, uh, what is it? Yeah. What is it? I survival of the fittest. Survival of the fittest. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's it. Yeah. Or the survival of the smartest, maybe at least. I don't know. Yeah. So Greg, a squirt told me that you're like fucking really smart. Uh, I was um, loud. <laughs> Thanks, Squirt. <laughs> hey, buddy. Um, what's the question? Oh, you, you, you have like a law degree or something? Yeah, I haven't actually worked yet. Doing, I passed the bar exam in California, but I haven't actually worked. So. Oh. Well, that's that can be your backup dream if music doesn't work out. Yeah, time. right. I'm putting it <laughs> off. I'm putting it off for a while. You should start a law firm that just helps out musicians that fuck up on tour. Like next time we're in California and we get like fucked on like a bunch of like uh, open containers in the van or something, we'll call you Greg and you come. Dude, I'm down there. I'm down as long as it's a a righteous cause. You know, that's the main thing. I'm trying to find my niche with doing something that I believe in. It's good, you know. There you go. I totally believe in that. Fuck that. (laughs) One eight hundred Greg Law. Yeah. (laughs) It's like better call Saul. Yeah. No, there's a there's like a guy in the in the music scene in Nebraska that I mean he's a lawyer that's just his job but just because of word of mouth he is like the go to music community DUI lawyer. It's like what he specializes in. 
Yeah, I'm trying, everybody... to help, I'm trying to help a friend of mine because he's starting up an internet radio station. He just wants to make sure it's legit. And he doesn't get sued or anything like that. So. Oh yeah. And he's like, he's been doing punk radio for a long time. Like, I don't know if you're familiar with KDVS and Davis. It's, uh, it's been a long lasting like college radio station that plays a lot of punk rock. Cool. <clears throat> All right. Uh, well, in closing, uh, I two things. First of all, I, I wanted to give everybody a chance to pump a band that maybe nobody's heard of that everybody can check out. We can start with you, Greg. Well, I'm wearing some kind of nightmare shirt. Um, this band's from San Diego, and they tour all the time as a husband and wife. And uh, mm -hmm. they've had different drummers, but they have a pretty stable drummer in lineup now. They just they constantly tour. So right now, they're probably kind of bummed out they can't be on the road. And that's their life. And um, they're completely DIY, and I totally... I totally recommend it I can. Cool. I'm going to say School Drugs. I really like that band. I don't know if you guys Oh, shit. It. Right up the street. Those guys are cool, and I want to convince them, one of them to do one of these Zoom things, so I'm just going to plug them. <laughs> All right, Squirt, how about you? Uh, working with a band out of South Africa right now called TCIYF. Um, trying to put out their tape right now, see where it goes. They're pretty much some young disaffected kids, you know, um, you know, I don't know, you know, so I think that's a pretty cool thing that they're like, you know, in Soweto, you know, there's a lot of heavy stuff going on there and they're still doing their thing. So, you know, um, not your typical punk band. I'll say that. So T C I Y F. Uh, yeah. Check them out. Sweet. All right, Jesse. Um, <clears throat> the first thing that uh, strings to to mind is uh, We the Heathens. I I I feel like they're kind of well known in like the folk punk circle, but um, they they're just so underrated. The uh, so much of what they've written influences what I write now. But yeah, they're fantastic. They've never written a bad song, in my opinion. So We the Heathens from Wausau, Wisconsin. If you know. Elliot? Yeah, Elliot. Yeah, sure too. Hell yeah. Huh? That's my Oops. boy. I'll have to check that out. All right, uh, last thing then, uh, you know, what's what's up and coming for the bands? Uh, Greg, what's Apathy Cycle going to be up to uh, in the next month? Well, we've got a new record out. It came out in the middle of the pandemic, April 24th. But um, hopefully we'll go back on the road as soon as we can. We we're supposed to be on tour from like the first this month through the 16th and so our tour would have just ended so whenever we can get back out we'll probably we'll be out there you know and it's like i mean it's got to be reasonable it's got to be safe and you know there's no real reason to go out on tour if no one's going to show up you know, just... now, greg and i found out after talking about his new record a whole bunch that we were actually going to play a show together uh, oh, last yeah. month in, in lincoln <laughs> which is fucking hilarious small world yeah <laughs> we um I've known your bandmate for a long time. I know you, you, uh, you're you in a band with him for a long time, like 15 years or something like that. That's what's strange about Nebraska is like, I don't know. Yeah. Everybody's always passing through and playing the Lookout Lounge or playing Knickerbockers or something. But We played Knickerbockers once. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a giant hole now. They're building a super hotel really? there. Super sad. I used to work right next door to that place and get a beer after work. It was fucking perfect. It was the American dream. But now it's gone. Yeah. I hope not too many places are gone after all this, you know? Yeah, and that's that's another concern. Uh, I mean, I'm sure all of your communities are working to, you know, raise money for venues and bars and stuff. Like, that's happening here, too. But I, I, you know, I have some friends that own some of the venues here, and I, I, they're pretty forthcoming about how fucked they are unless, you know, they get some free money or some free rent. So we'll see. Squirt, what do you what do you got going on? You have the new Public Serpents record that you're talking about. You're, yeah, we um working with the label a lot well, too. We, yeah, we did a split with Upper Downer from LA. Um, recently, we did another split with Jesse's other band, uh, Escape from the Zoo, which has not even come up here. Um, which which actually we put on a vinyl, which was great. I'm so glad that we did that. Um, we're working on this uh, Public Serpents record, which is long time overdue because. You know, these freaking songs have been, like, running around my head for freaking 15 years, you know what I mean? 12 years, whatever the time frame has been. I just, I had some stuff happen that I wasn't able to um, actually work, get my head in the right place to do that. But that's coming out. 
Um, and then interestingly enough, uh, you know, well, all the other bands that are coming out in Tent City is another, um, another, you know, element to what's coming out of my world. But then um, Choking Victim, we have a double live album we're going to be putting out, um, as well as two new songs and two covers we recorded. So that's eventually going to happen once we get uh, through this. And yeah, so there's a lot of stuff, a lot of things and stuff. That's awesome. I'm, I'm stoked about the Choking Victim stuff. I was, uh, I scared the shit out of my wife. I played her that suicide song. <laughs> oh, <Lord. laughs> that, but then the fucking drums kicked in and she's like, oh, that guy's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, appreciate that. Appreciate it. So Jesse, what else you got going? <clears throat> um, aside from that split that we have with Public Serpents, uh, with Escape from the Zoo, which is a band that I'm in with my wife, um, that same band has another split coming out with a band called Shooting Czars from uh, Denton, Texas. Um, I, I, we're just we're writing and recording. We have a bunch of live streams and stuff um, coming up. But yeah, the, the stay. Sorry, that's well, one of the three dogs that we have. Um, yeah, we're just writing, recording, and um, trying to keep busy. Right. Okay. Well, thank you guys very much. This was fucking awesome. Thank you. Thank you. That was a blast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little creepier. All right, Mike Elfers here with that's good enough for me.com. Got our Who's Zoom and Who series. I'm here with Zach from Pears. How are you doing, Zach? Terrible. We are here today to, so that Zach can challenge someone to join me for my next Zoom. Zach, yes. who do you suggest? It is going to be Brian Wallstrom of One Week Records fame. Okay, Brian. I'm relentless. I'm going to hit up your social media. You're going to do a Zoom with me, bro. Mm-hmm.